Hello everyone! Hello! Welcome to Tea for Lunch, where we serve up the news you need to know in 15 minutes or less. Well, we're jumping right in today. Yes. <laughs> um, we are back. Um, you might recognize Vern from a previous episode. Yes. I flew in just for this episode. It's very special. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, okay, I'll read our little intro and we can chat a little bit about us. But if you're new here, every week we'll come at you with a main story covering some sort of marketing angle. It could be a summary of new technology, breaking news in the industry, or trends that we're watching. You can catch the show on Instagram Live on Wednesdays right now at 12.30 Mountain Time. Or you can watch the replay on YouTube if you want to watch the full video replay or hop over to Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or wherever you listen to your podcasts on Thursdays for the audio version. Okay, back to us. <laughs> back to us. I guess we should make the tea. We probably should make some tea. This it's, is kind of cute. This yeah. part normally won't be in the audio, but now if you're on YouTube, you're going to get to see all of our little unedited. It's not getting in there. <laughs> Our system is flawed. What are you having? Tea making. Green tea. I'm going for a green tea. I feel like I need a little bit more energy today. I'm just a little tired. How about you? Same. <laughs> I went to the airport at 3 a.m. today. 3 a.m.? But I'm having like a cinnamon spice tea. It's How did you cool. go at 3 a.m. if you got here at like 11? <laughs> like um, one hour? Yeah, the one hour. Well, my flight was at 6. So oh, I landed here goodness. at 30. So Vern is our yes. one remote. Well, I guess one of our remote employees yes. and we make up the editing team mm -hmm. for the podcast so all of the really yeah. funny videos come from Vern. <laughs> it's not me it's a talent <laughs> i just cut it oh yeah you should we should have talked before like what we need to do in this one to make it a good edit for you yeah. expressions oh gosh <laughs> All right, I think we're just gonna dive right into the tea. Um, okay, first story. Uh, Megan The Stallion has launched a website that offers mental health resources for fans. We think this is like a really wholesome story. So um, Megan was famously quoted as saying, bad bees have bad days too, and has become the mental health advocate that we need. She recently launched, <laughs> recently launched, Bad girls have bad days too to provide her fans with mental health resources. The site doubles as a collection of links for free therapy, crisis hotlines, and groups working specifically with the black community, including free therapy for black women and black men. So even though it's called Bad Girls Have Bad Days Too, this is not, uh, we're not leaving anybody out here. Um, the site also has LGBTQ specific support and it was announced with a tweet from Megan that said hotties You know how much mental wellness means to me So I created a hub with resources that can help you when you might need a hand um, And I wrote here that we have no choice but to stand. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's kind of like reducing the stigma a little bit I love that she's advocating for like oh like you don't this kind of strength in reaching out to like if you do need help instead of you know putting up a front and being you know, quote unquote, baddie. Yeah. yeah, I like too that this was something she did to help people instead of just to like make money. I feel like I haven't really seen a lot of celebrities yeah. ever do something that was just like wholesome and yeah. helpful. So or some sort of marketing ploy. Yeah, like, it's just like from the bottom of her heart. And she's like <laughs> making it cool. Like just all the language around it, I feel like is kind of casual, and it would get rid of anybody who's feeling like they still have that stigma around like needing to be tough and all of that which I feel like a lot of people still feel even yeah. though we've come a long way so I love that it's like the language is just really good yeah and like that hottie is like yeah caring for your mental health is hot yeah That's I think it's tea. really cool <laughs> it'll be interesting to see like where it goes and if we see more celebrities come out with something like this I think yeah. it's been like a big gap honestly yeah I mean we see a lot of celebrities come out with like their clothing lines beauty and stuff like that so I think this is really great yeah I'm into it I don't know a whole lot about Megan the Stallion um, this made me more interested too so I think I'm gonna I'm gonna look into it some more okay this <laughs> next story <laughs> moving on <laughs> this next story I feel like some people will be happy about because uh, we're not talking about the Kardashians this week, but <laughs> sports. And by sports, I mean the National Football League, the NFL, has now been changed to National Fenty League. <laughs> Rihanna, okay, this is a big deal, has been announced as the next headliner for the Super Bowl. Okay, Joe, let's just pause for a second. Okay, she's done beauty, lingerie, and now football. 
What doesn't Rihanna do? What can't she do? <laughs> um, we don't know too many details yet. She just kind of posted that picture with a football um, mm-hmm. announcing that. And we don't know if she'll be doing it solo. If she'll be performing with other people. Like, apparently there are 50 possible names. Yeah. Um, like well Kanye, connected. <laughs> Paul McCartney, Calvin Harris. It's very vast. Like, it's like... Yeah, when I saw Paul, Paul McCartney as being suspected, I was like, oh, that would be interesting and weird (laughs) yeah so i'm curious to see like if they'll reveal more details or just leave it as a surprise Mm -hmm. but um previously it was rumored that taylor swift would take the stage but um she confirmed she won't be doing that until her album's finished um so yeah until she's finished re-recording them all which i think makes a lot of sense because she'll definitely get a lot of attention from playing and everyone usually goes and re-listens to that artist's music right after the halftime show so i feel like waiting until it's all actually in her name is very smart but yeah, I'm loving the memes about Rihanna doing this right mm-hmm. now and all of the ones that are saying, like, is this just going to be a 14-minute makeup tutorial? Not just, <laughs> is this going to be a 15-minute yeah, she's singing. makeup she's tutorial, singing which <laughs> I'd be into. People are saying, like, are all the football players going to come out to the game with, like, their beat on? <laughs> yeah, or, like, you know how they have, like, female football but then the lingerie football so I'm like is everyone gonna all the dancers gonna come out (laughs) in a savage Fenty with like their makeup all oh yeah she's got a lot that she could incorporate into this yeah and I feel like she's gonna do it all I'm gonna do it all yeah this will maybe get me to watch some football I don't know (laughs) yeah (laughs) two reasons to watch the Super Bowl snacks okay oh and drinks and Rihanna that's three so three good reasons three good reasons (laughs) great well Leave your guesses on who you think the guests are going to be, and um, you'll get a gold star if you're right. Yeah, I'm hoping it's Paul McCartney, because I I just want to see what that would be like. I know. I was like, really? I could see it being, like, people come out for, like, a couple songs, I guess. Kind of yeah. like last year, where they had, like, so many different people performing. Yeah. But I could also see her just doing it solo, which I feel like I would love. Yeah. Yeah. Into it. Okay. Our last story. Um... This one, I think, is not making people so happy. So TikTok has recently made an update, and many people are not loving this. Um, TikTok videos now have the option to like as well as save them. I think that's been around for a little while. But before, when saves were private, um, you could feel safe on the platform. (laughs) However, now with this update, the poster can actually see that you've saved their video. So it will actually like send them a notification and say like, Morgan has saved your video. Um, and I think we're definitely feeling like some type of way about this. No one is safe. No, <laughs> no one is no safe, one safe anymore. Right um, but we were talking about this a little bit before we jumped on and I think we use TikTok very differently too. Yeah. So yeah. I got on TikTok, I think in 2019 and it was before anybody I knew was on there. Um, I didn't work at a cool place like this where everybody was on social media. (laughs) So I was on there dancing. I was doing the trends. 2019 was a different time, okay? And everything now is like deleted, archived, and I try not to really follow anybody I know at this point because what is still left makes me cringe. So I feel like if I'm saving stuff, it's like all people I don't know. Like, I don't think I'd be saving content from anybody I know. Yeah. Do you? It's kind of savage. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, everyone's engagement. Me. <laughs> <laughs> so Morgan follows me, but doesn't watch my content <laughs> at all. <laughs> I just watched the For You feed. <laughs> So, so do sorry. I, to be honest, because it bothers me that they don't show it chronologically, like the people you follow. So I can't really stay updated because it'll show me a video from like five months ago. But. <laughs> and are you like saving? Are you on their saving? Yeah, content? I save a lot. It's really random, but I feel really con- well. Actually, when it's like an outfit video or like a trend or something, I don't feel that conscious because I'm just bookmarking it. But when it's like yeah. you know someone just living their life and I save it, I kind of feel like. They're wondering why. (laughs) Okay, and why... Okay, now I'm going to sound old, because once again, I don't use TikTok (laughs) as much as I used to, but why would we save over like, if we can, like, filter our likes? I think I... Okay, it's like the... (laughs) There's like... Okay, I like... I like a lot of things, but I only save certain things that I would. Okay. So it's kind of like I like this, and I really like this. I like this <laughs> enough that I would watch it again later. Gotcha. Okay. Kind of so we're giving the sign. So yeah. I could see this as being like the new fire emoji on stories, basically. Yeah. yeah. Slide into someone's 
notifications not that anyone can understand their tiktok notifications <laughs> anyway <laughs> i don't even get them they don't even pop up on my phone they're so confusing okay okay well i'm gonna keep just being as anonymous as i can on there yeah and i'm just, <laughs> just favoriting everyone's videos, videos so <laughs> keep an eye out for me and your likes and favorites because i'll be there <laughs> We'll just just like I'm on TikTok all the time. I guess that's my job, but like <laughs> I'm just like bookmark, bookmark, bookmark. It's just sharing the love, you know. I think it helps the algorithm. That's nice. Yeah, I'll I'll start liking everyone's posts. I'm yeah. sorry, sorry all. <laughs> and I have to look back because like the people that do like their day in the lives and morning routines. I'm like, I just want my life to be this together. So I oh my gosh, if my life could every day be summed up into 15 seconds, that's great. That's <laughs> ideal. <laughs> that's all I really need to see. All right, well, Vern, thanks for flying all the way here for tea for lunch. <laughs> yeah, I'm just going to go right back. <laughs> we will now hop off and edit this. <laughs> yes. Um, do you want to say our closing line? <laughs> Sorry, that was for yeah. me. All right. <laughs> Now that we've hit your palate, go eat something more substantial. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers. Back to it. <laughs> it's in the tongue.